Good evening humans, Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Black and White Battle Damage Walmart Exclusive BST AXN Best Action Figures 4-Pack from the Loyal Subjects. And uh, yeah, this kind of came up during, I think, the Walmart Collector Con that happened this past year. And, you know, that definitely looks interesting as anyone who regularly watches my channel knows I really like the weird stuff. And this follows falls into that kind of a mix of the uh, comic aesthetic with the cartoon aesthetic and, you know, a couple other elements just kind of thrown in. So uh, I was definitely interested. And, you know, uh, if, any, if you're not familiar with loyal subjects, they do tend to do kind of miniature vinyl figures with articulation as opposed to the uh, five, six inch figure stuff. And this is their, the, the best action line is them breaking into that. So it's, I was definitely curious. So when I saw this go up, I definitely wanted it. So I, uh, I pre-order in, came in, you know, a week or two ago, and here we are. So let's take a look at this thing. Let's do this. Starting off with aesthetics, uh, I do want to say that for the duration of this review, just in order to simplify things, uh, I will be using Leonardo as the example only because uh, not only is he my favorite turtle, but all four figures are basically the same figure with the different, just defining features, features changed around. And uh, yeah, just kind of using that as a segue, uh, they all, right out of the box, they all come with the exact same head, uh, which is just this kind of like stoic, tight-lipped, sort of look and uh, the only difference is like some of the, the battle damage if you will uh, so you can see Mikey's got some more on the cheek or the top of the eye and here it's spread around so they do these kind of randomly but I mean it works it looks more realistic that way so I'm cool with that Not realistic you know what I mean <laughs> and uh, yeah beyond that uh, we can see like decent proportions interesting the way that they had approached this too because there is an ab crunch in there and uh, There's just this like soft shell turtle piece in the front and it looks like this might be used for other like non turtle Style figures in the future. So that'll definitely be worth keeping an eye on I think same with the back shell um, I don't know if you can see but right over there. There's kind of a peg going from actually it's light gray So it's the body into the shell to keep that on so that's that's really interesting uh but beyond that like i said it was kind of the comic aesthetic so we got the the kind of gray skin the white front shell the uh, dark gray back shell we got all the the arm pads and wrist knee pads are all in black and i got the red face band for everyone and i, I always dug that because red's my favorite color even though leo's my favorite turtle <laughs> um or red is obviously amongst my favorite one of my top three favorite colors and yeah so you know, pretty cool. So that's aesthetics. For accessories, naturally we have a lot going on here because it is a four pack. And uh, you know, the obviously they all have their signature weapons, but a, there's a lot of crossover and there's a lot of stuff that can be interchanged between all of them, which is kind of nice. I like, I do like that feature. So the thing we're gonna start off with is hands because I, don't, I didn't put them all out because they all come with the exact same sets of hands. And uh, first ones, are just these relaxed hands. Uh, and this is what you get out of the box. Uh, all the hands are on, uh, I'm sorry, horizontal hinges. So that is that. And then we get a pair of gripping hands with each turtle naturally. Um, they're very hard plastic. So some of them might require heating up and I'll, I'll explain exactly why in a second. And uh, then they all get a pair of fists. So that's all their hands. Uh, and there's again, uh, three pairs of hands per turtle. So you get you know, a whole bunch of hands. And uh, beyond that, then we get some alternate heads for each turtle. So Mikey's alternate head looks like this. Uh, and these are all kind of referencing the uh, Playmates toys. And then we get Raph and Leonardo. And finally, Donatello. Once again, paint is kind of, the or the battle damage is kind of randomly applied here and there. It doesn't look messy, but it does look different. So that definitely keeps everything differentiated. Uh, so going on to their signature weapons, uh, we get obviously Mikey's nunchucks. These are super, super soft. Uh, I kind of wish the handles were a bit harder, especially because of how hard the plastic is on the hands. So uh, that will take some work. One of these I couldn't even get all the way in, I think it was the right hand. Uh, same thing goes for Raph's size. Um, so again, casting this white plastic with black handle and just like super, super gummy. So uh, the, the, the intensity with, with which they grip those weapons isn't, isn't great. 
then we get Leonardo swords. These are a uh, much harder plastic and they just seat in the, the gripping hands a lot more securely, which is kind of nice. Again, that makes me happy because he's my favorite turtle. And finally, we get Donatello's bow staff. Uh, so just kind of minimal, minimal sculpt here. You got some kind of wood grain sort of look and you do have a hint of the wrapping there. So that's nice. Uh, then we move on to the belted, I, I don't know, oh, these are these come separately in the package, so they'll be accessories. Uh, and that is just, uh, these click onto the back of the shell, however, um, not super cleanly. I haven't gotten one of these to go in fully yet, so that might be another, like, you have to warm it up. Uh, the pegs just aren't done uniformly, it doesn't seem. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, different for each turtle, naturally because their weapons are different, uh, and they all just plug into the back here as you can see these ports and uh yeah just takes a little bit of work to get those in properly finally we have different pieces of accessories that come with each turtle they're, they're put in the quadrant that they are in but obviously you can use these for any any of them so mike next to mikey is the grappling hook uh, with the turtle shell just the little ring at the end there then with raf you get a kunai and a ninja star uh, again, both in that really gummy, rubbery plastic. Then we get a sewer cover with Leonardo. And finally, we get a slice of pizza with Donatello. So that's accessories. Articulation is definitely pretty decent here with a couple of things I think they could have done differently, but overall, I think it's definitely pretty solid. So starting at the top, uh, we are on like a, just, just a ball joint under there. Um, Let's see if I can show that. Oh, there we go. That came off pretty easily. So there you go. Like no hinge, just like a straight up ball joint. And the heads just pop on there. I'm gonna do this off camera. I don't want. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so given that, you're gonna be not really getting too, too much up, but that's okay. Uh, pretty much nothing down and not really any tilt. Again, the, the, this is probably the biggest thing I think with the articulation is like, I really wish they gave you more range for the head because it really limits what you can do. Uh, then we get butterfly joints down here, which decent range. Uh, the right arm on pretty much all of these is definitely a lot more loose. So something to be conscious of if you have this set or if you're gonna purchase it. And uh, then we go on to the arms. So we're coming up to just about 90 and we have our bicep swivel. We have double jointed elbows, which is nice, but it's kind of just gonna bring you there mainly because of the sculpt of the arm pads. Then we have hinge and swivel on the wrists. Again, everything is horizontal. Uh, vertical would have been nice for weapon holding, weapon holding hands, but again, it's still not standard, so I wouldn't really expect that. Uh, another thing I touched on earlier was that there is an ab crunch or a diaphragm joint in here. And uh, you're not really gonna get a ton of movement just because again, this is kind of in the way, but you, it, it does move. Uh, and that's also where you're gonna get a little bit of turn, but nothing extreme. And uh, then we come down to the hips and we're coming out about that far. Not too bad, but definitely respectable. We have thigh swivel, double jointed knees, gonna bring us again to about there just because of the sculpt of the knee pad and then we we're actually getting our turn side to side from the foot i'm not sure what that joint looks like because i'm not going to take this off but uh we do get some beautiful beautiful point we get some some okay forward it's, it's definitely a little bit there and uh we do have rocker however the pin isn't really like at, a, at an extreme angle so it's a little weird and it just takes a little bit of getting used to but still definitely decent for articulation Moving along to size comparisons, here how they here's how they size up with some other turtle lines, uh, with Slash standing in for the uh, NECA cartoon line. Here they are with a couple shredders, with some Hasbro, with some imports, with some monsters. Finally, with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles black and white battle damage, four pack best action from Loyal Subjects is that uh, it's definitely an oddity. Uh, I, I dig it and it's just because of how weird it is, but there's def it's, 
certainly not without its flaws uh, and that though, that may be a little bit too much for some people to overcome uh, for wanting it because uh, th this is definitely not for everyone uh, in many, many ways. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I would, I would say if you're a hardcore uh, TMNT collector, uh, if you love especially the weird stuff like I do, or um, you kind of like the mix of comic and other sorts of, of aesthetics with the turtles, then definitely pick this up. Um, it's available, I think, I believe it's still available on Walmart's website. Uh, I saw pictures on Instagram of people actually finding this in store. I didn't even think it was supposed to be in stores. So there looks like there's ample opportunity to pick this up if you want it. I don't know how popular it actually was, um, but you know, I, it definitely worth a look again if you like th those, but if not, it's an easy pass and that's even better for you, you know? So <laughs> uh, I will leave a link in the description below uh, for where you can pick this up on Walmart. Um, and yeah, so if you want it, definitely get it and check it out. So uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, please comment, uh, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, I will actually have other ways to support the channel as well in the description also. <laughs> uh, so yeah, please, please check those out. So ultra thanks to you one last time for watching and I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.